Hi all, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to discuss about the different features of 80286 and its internal architecture. Let's see the features of 80286 microprocessor. Compared with the 8086, it has some additional features. So we can say it is an advanced version of 8086 microprocessor. It is also a 16-bit microprocessor but with a high performance and it can be used for multitasking and multi-user applications. Here also the data bus and address bus is there but the difference is that here the address bus and data bus are not multiplexed. That means it has a separate path for address and also has a separate path for data. The size of data bus is 16 bit that means it can perform a 16 bit operations and also it has an address bus with 24 bit that means each location can be represented by 24 bit. Since its address bus is 24 bits it has a memory of 2 raised to 24 which is equal to 16 MB memory. In addition to that 16 MB memory, it has one additional feature that is called virtual memory. It has around 1 GB virtual memory. As the name indicates, it's a virtual memory that is not a physical memory. Let's see what is the use of this virtual memory. Suppose we are having an instruction, its size is very large compared with the physical memory. On that time, it will be very difficult to store this large instruction inside this small physical memory. In this case, a part of hard disk can be utilized to store this large instruction that is called a virtual memory. Next feature is it can work on two modes. One is called a real mode and another is called a protected virtual mode. In the real mode of 80286, it can work same as 8086 but quite faster. So we can call it as a faster 8086. In the protected virtual mode, it can utilize its 16 MB physical memory along with 1 GB virtual memory. The details of this real and protected mode will be discussed later. These all are about the main features of 80286. Next we will see the internal architecture of 80286. We already know that our 80286 has two different blocks. One is called a bus interface unit and another is called a execution unit. But in this case, in case of 80286, it has a four blocks. The first block is called address unit and the second block is called bus unit and third block is called instruction unit and the fourth block is called execution unit. The purpose of this address unit is to calculate the physical address to find the location of the instruction in the memory. How this physical address is calculated we have already discussed in the previous videos. So for that details you can go and watch that video. After calculating that physical address, this physical address is given to the bus unit. The bus unit will send this physical address through the address bus to the memory and will fetch the instruction from that location. You can see in the figure it also has a 6 byte instruction queue so that the instruction can be prefetched and can be stored in the queue. From the queue instruction will be given to the instruction unit which will decode the instruction and will be then hand over to the execution unit and will execute that instruction. Thank you.